Good evening, everybody. How y'all doing tonight? It's your boy Dev, and I got another review for you on a Craftsman 2 set. Small set, a little different than what I normally would use, but I think it's pretty cool. I still got this caption on top from the last one. There we go. I'm looking for right there. Make sure I got some sound. Good, I guess so. Huh? All right, so anyway, we're doing a Craftsman 8 in 1 piece Mechanics 2 set. Now, this one right here is a couple of special things. It's supposed to be Gunmetal Chrome, and also the Ratchet has 120 teeth. That means it's supposed to engage faster than normal. Um, up until this point, the highest I had was a 90 Ratchet teeth. And the rest of them are normally 72 according to what I have. So um, first I need you to understand this craftsman. So it has the full lifetime warranty, full lifetime guarantee. It's in a flat case, which I like. Easy to carry. Nice handle and very, very seem like a very good constructed case. On the back it has information about the details on the inside, but forget all that junk, let's do it. Let's go. Metal clip instead of plastic, good deal. We open it up. Ooh, as my wife would say, shiny. It's pretty. Uh, it isn't a regular nickel plate or a silver silver chrome. It's a gun metal chrome. It's All right. So first and for first and foremost, we have. Uh, let's look at the ratchets. We have two ratchets. We have a three eight drive, which is a normal regular drive. Then we have a small drive, the, the quarter. Drive. It does not have a half inch drive. I normally like to sit with both, all three drives. All right, let's take it out and let's look at it a little bit here. Unlike most craftsmen set, this uh, tools uh, seem like they snug in. All right, so the set here, they're very, very pretty. Um, dark set engraved. Dog sitting great for Instagram. The tooth, I need y'all to hear it as it engages. Just a little bit of turn is already ready to grab something. Whip on the back, power head shape, button to click it in. Hard to get back in. Uh, same thing with the quarter drive. I hope y'all can hear that little sound. All right, flip both ways, tighten and loosen, and you got the push button on it also. Very shiny, pretty, little dark, shiny gray. Hard to get back in, which is cool. All right, let's look at our three eight deep drives first. So for our deep drives, on the standard. This, the smallest is a three eight, and it goes up to a three quarter. Okay, pull that three quarter. Now on these, Craftsman has upgraded the game. They still engraved, but now the size is like, as my daughter used to say back when she was good, ginormous. Hope you can see it over here too, Mr. Brown. Big, big size. Size is engraved, name is still engraved, saying Craftsman, and it's a very pretty color. It was not the easiest to get back in, but that means it won't be coming loose, which is good. Uh, and for the metric, for the metric sizes, we are on the deep. We have 10 millimeter. All the way to 17 millimeter. It skips to 16. Yeah, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Skip 16, go to 17. Let's look at the 17 on it. Same situation. Craftsman engraved. Uh, the part number engraved. And the size is still engraved, but it is very large. I like that. Easy to see. Easy to see. All right. Push it back in. Now let's deal with uh, where I gonna call it up. We have these uh, 
hex bits or something like call them nut drivers. Some people feel that uh, a waste inside of a set like that um, because you can do what you need to do with the other sizes, but hey, whatever. Also, as far as some of my feelings to be wasted, is these little screwdriver bits here. Now, this set doesn't have a screwdriver piece to it or a driver to it, but it has these bits in I guess you can use the ratchet like. All right. Now, let's look at our shallows here. So, for our shallows and our standard for the 3 8 we have 3 8 all the way to 30. 13, 16. We're going to pull out 13, 16. Also, look at the engraved size of it. So, 13, 16. And also, Instagram, 13, 16. Let's put that back. Well, let's leave it out. I want to do something else. And for our millimeters, by metric, we go from smallest 10 millimeter all the way to 22 millimeter. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, 22. I didn't see a skip ahead at all. I'm just cool. We'll pull out the 22. I want you to <laughs> see how hard it is to get this out, which to me is good because. Most of my crabman set. Uh, Jesus. Most of my crabman set tools come out a little too easy. Because they're not really stuck in at all. This 22 don't want to come out. Let's see if we can play with 21 then. Wow. Here we go. All right. So 22 millimeter here. See the big 22 on there. Same thing for Instagram. See the big 22 on there. I'm going to set it to the side. All right. We also have our 3 8 drive extension. We have a six inch extension here for the 3A drive. We have another extension here, a three inch extension for the quarter drive here. And we also have a universal joint here. I got to really introduce these by doing tune ups at work. Uh, speaking of tune up, so we also have spot plug socket here. Same thing, down metal chrome. Now this here is something I've never seen before. It actually is a 3-8 drive at the bottom, so it'll reach into the ratchet to hit it but the top has a hex shape where it does for these bits I'm telling you about that people might call waste. And that's what that's for, to fit into the bits. Now we're going to deal with our quarter inch drives. So standard is the smallest 5 30 second, and it goes up to half inch. Just not taking a chance right now, pulling it all on line like I can't get it out of there. That's the half inch for the quarter inch drive for the little one. Half inch for the quarter inch drive. And then for the metric, it goes from four millimeter to ten millimeter. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No skips. Let's pull out the ten on it. Now we want to do one here. See the engagement as it goes. So we got the quarter inch drive. And we got our 10 millimeter that we just pulled out. We push the button in. 
slide it on, and while, and while it's on, it won't come off. Listen to the turn, the ratchet, and engage. Very good. You want it off, you press the button, and it come off, but it will not release until you press the button. You can't put it on without pressing the button. You can't get it off without pressing the button. I like that. Um, well, three eighth dry. Let's look at this big 22, I think it was. Yeah, the 22 millimeter. Same process. Push the button in, sock it on. It engages very quick. If you want to sock it off, press the button, sock it comes off. All right. So now we go to my pros and cons of two sets. First pro, number one, lifetime warranty. You should be able to walk up to any clothes, any ace, and get whatever part that had failed replaced. I did skip one part. Okay. Right now, Lowe's is selling this for $79, $69, seven, right at $70. Ace is selling it for $150. You make up your mind where you want to go with your loyalty, but my Lord just stick to the Lord and Savior, my wife, and my pocketbook in that order. Or my pocket, my money in that order. All right, so number one, full lifetime warranty. You should be able to exchange at any ace or any home, home loads if you have an issue with it. Second thing, it's Craftsman. My mom used to work at Sears years ago and Craftsman had the, the, the they was the, they was that deal. <laughs> they, they was always solid. Uh, another pro, I like the small case. Small case with the handle, and I think it's ready. Another pro to me, very important. The size is big, which is an upgrade for Craftsman, and it's still engraved in, which is some Craftsman I did, but now they got to upgrade it because the size is large as well as engraved in. Cons. Right now, I can't feel it think of any con on this set. It's new to me. I don't know many people that have used it so far. I've seen it laying around loads a couple of times. I sat and grabbed me a set. Um, the only come to this set to me would be it didn't have all three ratchets in it. It's uh, missing the half drive because it's just a quarter inch and a three-eight drive set. Um, another come to some people would be all those little bits. That, that they add in there to make the count go up, to make it be 81 pieces or whatever, because if you subtract them and subtract them, it wouldn't be 81 pieces. Um, I really wish that it was more sockets in here, because it seemed like they had more room to put them in here. Oh, and another pro I need to add, that crafting don't normally do. Crafting tools is going to be loose inside the box, so if you walking around with, with the case as a suitcase, Pieces and sockets and stuff just moving all around and they ain't being held together by nothing. But this set right here, it, it's snug. You saw my face when I was trying to get it in and out. So I think that's an upgrade for the craftsman. So uh, the only kind I wish I had less of these filler pieces and it had more real pieces inside of these extra places. Um, those are the only two kinds. Pros is craftsman. Pros, lifetime warranty. Pros, you have an issue, you should be able to walk right up in Ace or right up in Lowe's and get exchange. Pros, it's beautiful. <laughs> Pros, it's engraved. Not just the name engraved, but the size engraved. And the Extra Pro is engraved even uh, at a larger number. And the Extra, Extra Pro is now the things fit in place without falling out. That's a blessing. Speaking of blessings, I don't know if you have made a decision to confess Jesus Lord and save your life. If you hadn't done so already, I want to give you the opportunity to do that now. Because God has a wonderful plan for your life. And you just need to just figure it out. You need to get in his word and see what it's about. See, right now, I want you to understand that God has given you grace to be what's called a wise master builder. 
And people build a lot of things. Some people had never built anything. I told the story last time about when my wife, when my wife wanted to marry me, when I was going to marry my wife, she wanted me to build these steps for her to go up to the uh, altar to get married and up to the stage to get married. And I'm like, they already got steps, but the steps was on the side. I wouldn't tell her God, but she wanted steps right up in the middle. So I said, God, I couldn't build no steps. I said, I don't know how to build no steps. Get what's wrong with y'all? I do that type of stuff. She said, I believe, I believe you can do it. And the scripture in the Bible says that the chain conversation of the wife will win a husband every time. So she warned me, y'all, and I built them steps. I stayed up all night building them steps. But they came together. They were beautiful. They still in existence right now for the scripture on every step. They still stand. And, um, they in our bedroom right now. So God can give you grace to become a wise man. So you need to build something you hadn't built before. He desires to give you knowledge, skill, learning, and wisdom. In the Bible, we meet these uh, Hebrew boys, Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these guys, not only do they end up having an understanding of the time, but these guys right here, they were 10 times better 10 times wiser, 10 times stronger, 10 times fair, 10 times smarter, 10 times more handsome than all the other men in that room, all the other men that were in that same captivity and captured with them. And you can do this too, because it wasn't just special just for Daniel, even though Daniel was special. See, God desires that we all come to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of the Son of God, and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. And that's what your desire should do. But your first step to do that is, you got to make a decision to accept Jesus as Lord and Savior of your life. So if you hadn't been saved, and you decide that you want to receive Jesus now, this is your opportunity. The Bible tells us in Romans chapter 10, that if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead, then you will be saved. I want to give you the opportunity to do that with me now. Just pray this simple prayer. We're going to pray based exactly what Romans chapter 9, Romans chapter 10, verse 9 says. If you ready, pray this prayer with me now. Father, in Jesus' name, you said in your word, if I confess and I believe that I'll be saved. So right now, I confess with my mouth, Jesus, you are Lord, and I believe in my heart that God has raised you from the dead, and you are alive. Come into my heart, live in me, and change me from the inside out. I thank you, Jesus, this day for saving me. In Jesus' name, amen. Look around. I don't care where you are. If you see somebody, tell them, hey, guess what? I'm saved. They might don't think that you are. They might think about what you just did before you got saved an hour or two ago, but none of that has anything to do with what Jesus did for you. Jesus died on the cross for you. He did no wrong at all, but died for all the wrong you did. You did not much right at all to receive all the right that he had. And that's what it's all about. So if you hadn't done so already, click the bell, comment, follow, like, share, subscribe, to our YouTube channel, to our Facebook channel, to our Instagram channel. Make sure you do that. Help us. And we're going to continue to give you all the information we got with the Word. And all the information we got on any reviews about anything to get our hands on. Whether we think it's a good deal, whether we think it's bump or not. And one thing about me, I'm going to tell a lot of things. So if it's good, I'm going to tell you it's good. If it's bump, I'm going to tell you it's bump. If all I got is the information I got, I'm going to let you know what I got. I'm going to let you know that. But if anything changed, I'm going to always keep it real. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name.